hi guys so um, a short video here on the state of the market uh, and let's draw the chart uh, complete the chart of Trumolo here um, so uh, today uh, we are at 217 billion we just went up a lot past uh, two days um, we were at 180 billion here this is was uh, made the 3rd of May that's the last uh, updated chart here uh, of Trololo or Owen Wonder and um, we just went up yeah sorry I can't do it better than this but uh, we went up a little bit more here and uh, let's take yellow too and here we went up so a little bit more huh? and we're now at undervaluation of minus 17 percent huh? so not minus 29 here but minus 17 a little bit higher um, and we're getting really close to the trend line, huh? uh, very close. Um, so, so, so undervaluation is only 17% today. Um, so I, I, I think that um, even though I did not expect this rally, like I was, I was, I, was, I didn't, I didn't call this rally. Uh, I thought actually that we would go lower. So, so I was wrong here. Well, uh, yes, but um, uh, what were my moves? That's the most important here, and also for yourself. Like, yes, the, it's becoming very difficult for bears. But what are you doing today? Are you buying, doing nothing, or selling? And the right move, in my opinion, today is to look at your exposure. My tools and Alt T. Okay, uh, look at your exposure because uh, that's the only thing that counts. For me, I'm at forty-six percent crypto uh, because I scaled down from eighty percent to forty percent when Bitcoin crash was around three hundred. Why? Because I thought that I I should have only well, after it went up here the first time. I should have only a minority exposure in crypto. Later I discovered that was wrong huh, because I, I created this later and, and, and came with a, a, a good plan. Um, where should you buy? Where should you go to a majority exposure? Or should you have invested the majority of whatever you plan to invest in crypto? In my opinion, it's at minus 35% undervaluation. And we first hit that the 25th of November here. Uh, and, and, and at that time, Bitcoin Cash was 190 and Bitcoin BTC was 3,800. Um, that's where I should have gone to 60, but I went to 75. I overdid it. But uh, then we dropped to minus 50%. We went from here to here. And what did I do? Nothing. I should have increased my exposure, but because I already invested 75, I went uh, and I, I went. I went down because the market dropped from my average buy-in was actually not 190 but 250 for bitcoin cash it dropped to 75 cut by three so my exposure of 75 went down to 50 percent i should have increased it to 73 percent but i didn't then the market went up to an undervaluation here over again around minus 30 percent or so and uh, and i and i scaled it back down from well i went from uh, 50 back to 80 percent and i went i scaled it down to 40 percent that's where i'm today but then i realized like my god actually that was wrong i should not have a minority exposure the way i should invest is well i'm a long-term investor so the moment it hits minus 35 percent in the valuation why minus 35 percent because that's half of what it did in previous bear market we went to minus 70 percent under valuation so half of that is minus 35 that's the safe margin eh? where you want to go to a majority allocation is where you are pretty sure the market will go. Um, uh, 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 and so where you, but you're already at a serious undervaluation. And I, 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 in a previous video, you can check that. I said, okay, let's do 50% of whatever it did in the previous bull and bear market. So that's why I have minus 35%. I plan to be invested with the majority, 60%. But when do i go to maximum when do i want to have 100 percent invested when we go to an undervaluation of minus 80 percent because i think that will be the peak in this bear market 
because undervaluation goes up over time. And so we have here minus 50% in the first bear market, minus 70% in the second bear market. So in the third bear market, likely we will see also an increase. So you'll probably go to minus 80%, baby. Can you do that another time? Because uh, that's making too much noise. So, um, Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, that's why I've been skeptical of this rebound here. Huh? Uh, but in any case, my investment strategy is not to buy and sell uh, like a trader. I just want to build my position during this bear market. Um, and, and, and so the right way to do that, in my opinion, is to only buy during a bear market. You should never sell. Huh? Um, and, and, and so because you never know how deep it will go, it can stop right here at minus 50 it can never go to minus 80 that's just my best guess huh? so if you get to minus 50 my my plan is and that's just taking the middle here like if if you want to be 100 percent as minus 80 percent invested well that means that at minus 50 i should be 70 percent, 73 percent invested so if we reach minus 50 percent, i should go to 73 percent. i should never sell that we reach that uh, about a, a half a month later when it continued to drop. So I should have invested 73% and never sold it. And well, if I would have done that, since then prices are up a lot. We're from 100 billion to 200 billion now. So we're double for most cryptos and, and, and for the, the coin I prefer. We're more than double, we're quadruple huh? Bitcoin cash. So I would now be at 90% exposure. So I, I made mistakes here, huh? but okay. I realized that and shared that in previous video that I made mistake, I should not have gone to a minority exposure, but I was planning to wait for a correction and I'm still doing that today. We were at 180 billion in the previous, previous video where I was planning to uh, uh, buy at a correction and I'm still planning to do that today. Uh, and when? Well, um, I wanna buy when I, I think what the correction will most likely hit. Huh? And so, uh, what is that? Um, well, I think 4,500 is still very likely to hit. Huh? Uh, even if we started a bull market, we're probably going to hit that. And uh, since Bitcoin dominance has been going up during this bear market, we're now at 58%. Usually, I mean, not actually in the previous bear market, at the end of the bear market of 2015, uh, not 2014, Bitcoin lost dominance uh, because Ripple uh, exploded. But if you exclude Ripple, then Bitcoin is keeping its dominance. Uh, it is going up slowly and steadily during the bear market. Um, and, and, and most coins um, do find... Uh, are not increasing in market share versus Bitcoin during the bear market. So this 58% will likely stay the same or even go up and may go up even more if we get a strong bear market, continued strong bear market. So uh, if we get that 500, likely Bitcoin dominance will be about the same uh, and likely your preferred, preferred altcoin will have gone down compared to today in dominance. So that means that if we hit 4,500, I think Bitcoin will hit $220. Uh, and so that's for me a buy-in price. Huh? Um, actually, I said this wrong. I think the dominance will go lower. I think 200 will be reached and even 180 for Bitcoin cash is likely to hit. Um, still, even if the bull market starts. Huh? So that's where I plan to correct my mistake and go from 46% and that will probably drop again if we get a correction to maybe 35% or 30%, something like that. I will more than double to 73% exposure. That's my plan. Huh? And is that, uh, am I planning to go all in here? No, uh, because I really do believe odds are still in favor of a continued bear market. Huh? Um, despite this strong rally. Huh? Uh, and um, even more so, eh, because for me, like reversion to the mean really counts. The 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 the, 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 the 
the higher something is uh, deviating from the trend, the higher it will go back to that trend. Um, so, so the trend here is, yes, this is the logarithmic trend line for the long term, but the actual trend is that you go do this via bulls and busts. Huh? And this chart I want to show also, this is the trend line of booms and busts, booms and busts, boom, bust, boom, bust. Huh? Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, at least we get a sideways movement now. But if the pattern continues, we get actually, we, we actually will see a longer bear market as before. And so we won't see, this won't prove to be the low. We will see a new low. The question is like, I, I still think actually a fiat bottom is likely to happen. And I think we will see lower lows. I know that's crazy to say today, like, and that, but that, 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 that doesn't matter. Huh? Uh, uh, it's it's in the extremes that you usually are going to become right. So, and how would that bottom look? Well, in my previous video, I said that I think the bottom cannot be much deeper than what we saw simply because I don't see an over undervaluation higher than 80%. That I don't think that's possible. Uh, but if you see let's let's do 80 percent and let's do it soon let's say because actually i i do expect the bottom to happen somewhere in the middle of 2019 uh if you calculate exactly it should be the first of june but we're already uh, that's in three weeks eh? so that's not likely anymore but it can be a month later or two months later it can be that we start going down in the summer and we continue to go down for two months uh, and we will be quickly be there eh? and we could reach that undervaluation at the same time when we get the fiat bottom. That is also not so likely, actually. Huh? It's more likely you get maximum undervaluation at the end of the sideways movement, because here was the fiat bottom 2011, 2013. Here was the fiat bottom at the start, 2014. At the start of the bear market, you have the fiat bottom, and, 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 and but maximum undervaluation goes up over time as the trend line runs away from the price. Trend line runs away slowly from the price. And so a maximum undervaluation you get, not at the fiat bottom, but later in time after the sideways movement. Uh, so that's likely to happen again, like minus 80% undervaluation, or maybe it's even minus 85% won't happen together with the fiat bottom. So how much undervaluation should we get uh, to reach a fiat bottom? Well, right now we should get minus 70%. Only then we will reach a fiat bottom, uh, and that would be then like 80 billion, because it's also not likely that you're going to make a bottom that's like only 5% below the previous bottom. That That's not how bottoms break. If a bottom breaks, and, and the previous bottom was here 105 billion, if that breaks, we're not going to go to 100 billion or 95 billion. We'll go at least to 80 billion. Huh? Can we reach that? Yes, we can reach that if we do minus 70% undervaluation because the trend line is at 260 billion and will be in one month at 270 billion. You deduct 70%, you're at 80 billion. If you have these kind of market shares, then Bitcoin will just go below 3000, but some other coins will see new lows, like Ethereum goes to $65, Bitcoin Cash does not make a new low. Uh, so that's like, yes, technically it's a new fiat bottom, but it's not that much lower, but it certainly will make many people do the wrong moves because nobody is expecting a new low anymore today. Huh? So that's possible. Huh? Uh, and in an extreme scenario, not so likely, but it is also possible is that we do reach a fiat bottom that's even deeper, which you can certainly make a case for because if we break that 105 billion, if we break 3,200, if we only go to 2,900 for Bitcoin, that's also very rare. Like that's a, that's only like 10% lower, not even for Bitcoin. Has that ever happened in the past? No. If it breaks, it's low. It's going to go a lot deeper and minus 20, even minus 50%. And so it's much more likely if you break 3,200, that you're not going to go to 2,900. You're going to go to 2,500 or even could break 
2000 and 3900. Like that's also actually likely, but it doesn't mean we would have to go to a minus 8% undervaluation, which seems like a high, uh, but actually it's within expectations, but it just seems that this should happen much later after the sideways movement, but we can still go down to like minus 85. But like this seems to be what needs to happen. Like I think still, I still think this is possible. Mm -hmm. And so I will plan my investment strategy on that. But I said in previous videos, I'm not going to go full retard. I'm not going to go 100% into crypto. But actually, if we would make such a new low, huh, where where we do go to minus 80% undervaluation, if we do make a clear new low, that's like half of what we, we've seen before. Yes, I will do that. I will go to 100%. That's my plan. Huh? I will go full retard. I think that's a great plan if it would happen. Hmm. So voila, uh, that's my strategy, my plan. Uh, but that doesn't mean that uh, I plan to go to 70% pretty quickly on a correction that's likely to happen. And I plan to go to 90% if we make a double bottom, uh, basically uh, well, a, a bottom a little bit lower, but for my preferred coin, we would not even make a new low, but I still plan to go to 90% exposure. Huh? Uh, but I, this is the most important for today. Like I plan to go to a majority exposure, even if we do a small correction to 135 billion, uh, which is very likely still. Uh, because like even if the bull market started, a sideways movement is most likely. Uh, even if the bull market started, even if this was the bottom, which I still really don't think is so likely, but even if it was the bottom, then it is not likely that we're going to go up here without retesting the bottom. And that doesn't mean a double bottom. Retesting the bottom means like it's like 30% higher than the bottom or something like that, or it corrects at least 50% from the uh, intermediate top you make, like uh, a serious correction to test the bottom. That's still very likely even if you start the bull market. And that's where I believe you should really correct all the mistakes you've made before. And for most people, that means that they bought too little crypto during the bear market. That's typical. We all make that mistake. And, uh, and, uh, and, and, and the same as when you're in a bull market, typically you didn't sell enough. Well, you, when do you take your second chance? Not when it's dropping and everybody starts to panic. No, you don't do that. And, and yes, it can go very deep, it can go very deep, but you have to have the patience to wait for a serious rebound when the attitudes of the people change again eh, from very bullish to very bearish and you wait for it to become at least bullish again huh? um, at least bullish again maybe not extreme bullish but at least bullish and then you correct your mistake and you sell more crypto huh? and you always have these chances always huh? so so it's the same in a bear market you always have that chance huh? like now we're clearly overly bullish the crypto uh, fear uh, and greed index, uh, we're at 75% uh, yesterday, we're at 76% extreme greed. This is only for Bitcoin huh? and it's only starting to measure at the start of uh, 2018. So it doesn't go back to a bull market, it's only information from a bear market. But we're at all time highs according to this index that is composed very smartly. Huh? Uh, it takes all kinds of parameters into account. And, uh, and, and it has been uptrending and the bullish sentiment has been uptrending. We're at extreme greed now. So, 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 so this is really not a time to correct your mistake and buy more crypto. You should do that when this indicator at least goes to the middle, eh? but preferably you want to see it bearish again, which will happen even if the bull market starts again, we will see this bearish sentiment come back sooner or later. And that's when you buy more crypto. So uh, that was it. Uh, maybe also something about uh, uh, yeah, this chart is important, but uh, I don't have it here right now. Um, anyway, uh, I think that uh, uh, there's also a story about um, about uh, alts. Uh, so there many things alts will now pull off. I think this is very dangerous because. Um, 
uh, yes, in a bull market, first Bitcoin goes up and then after it corrects some and then also go up a lot. Uh, but but the problem is that the, 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 the Bitcoin dominance has gone down uh, a lot, uh, not a lot, but has gone down for over five months. Sorry, you can't show the chart right now, but um, uh, it has gone. Why I cannot do that? should be able to do that my tools i can't so this is the chart where i analyzed um uh, bitcoin dominance uh, and 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 it has been going down here bitcoin dominance for five months that's a long time and so only recently the past three weeks or so it has finally gone up since i posted this um i have declined for six months um, but uh, it reversed after i made this post uh, finally and uh, and it's been going up but it's only been going up for for a for a month maybe uh, or shorter and um, and so it's not likely to reverse right now um, uh, 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 I don't think so it, it takes a couple of months these cycles um, this was a short cycle of only two months that's the shortest two three months that's the shortest one two months so we're only one month in so likely bitcoin dominance will continue to go up so how can that happen i didn't know how it would start i thought will we rally up or will we crash but in either way it has to go start to go up it did go up but it was not via a crash which I, I was hoping but it was via rally but how will it continue to go up today is the question can that be via an altcoin season? No, huh? altcoin season, altcoin booms, they only lower Bitcoin dominance. So the only two scenarios that are likely uh, is that Bitcoin dominance continues to go up at, or at least keep it by either continuing to go up in a rally or the market goes sideways, but alts don't boom or the market and that's actually not likely crypto uh, after going up so much will not gonna go sideways I, it's just not so likely so what's most likely is that it will um correct uh crash and and and, and in that scenario usually bitcoin keeps its dominance uh, and may even go up so i think that's more likely after we saw such a strong rally already it's not a continued rally where Bitcoin dominance goes up, but a crash where Bitcoin dominance continues to go up. So I, I hope you all uh, had uh, get value from this and, and, and you don't uh, get influenced by um, all the bulls in the market and, and some even bullies in the market uh, that are uh, laughing and mocking and um, misrepresenting uh, you or me. Uh, that's not uh, something uh, I, it's typical that happens at, 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 at market extremes that you have the most social pressure against you. Huh? Uh, but if you did things right um, today, uh, if you indeed got the right amount of exposure during the bear market, during the corrections, which I sadly did not. But if you did, then today you're a seller of crypto, not a buyer. And there are very few sellers of crypto today. Many more buyers, as you can see on my Twitter. I just did a poll yesterday. Even among my followers, um, the ratio buyer and seller is like 10, 20% have sold crypto since it went above 5K, huh? but like 70% or 60% compared to each other, 70, 80% has, has, has bought since 5K. So the FOMO is real. Uh, and um, even among the people that follow my work. So I think it's much wiser to, instead of FOMO by today, 
or and especially into alts i think that's really not smart it's much smarter to create a plan today while the market is up to create a strong aggressive buying plan if the market goes down because you have to do that now because if you don't do it now and the market starts to collapse you will be frozen because you don't have a plan and the lower it and you will have a, some kind of weak plan like yes i will buy when it goes today yes i will buy when it comes today but when it actually reaches that price you will change that plan because it's a weak plan it's not written down and um, it's not thought through and so the emotions of the day will influence your weak plan and will cancel your plan and you will set your buys lower and lower until well it goes up again and you're uh, too late again and then you um or, or you even do worse things like if you hit a new low you start to even sell crypto huh? so thanks for watching and i wish you all a great day